And so Markel Fultz on the floor, and they rise at Wells Fargo Center. Harris giving him a little bit of comfort there as you take a look at his family. Nice touch there by Harris. That was back on December 30th. Another guy that the Utah Jazz got rid of. Fultz gliding in and getting the layup. That's got to feel good. Contact in the average big guy. Here's that play again. See the length. Her son Ilyasova on the case. Look at him push it. Here's Fultz giving it up. Ilyasova got it. Give the assist to Markel Fultz. Someone's got to inbound it for Markel. Rookie telling the vet. In a playoff push. Well, that's what stood out to me was the fact that no one was pressuring him despite what they're going through. Robert Covington promptly laces the three. He's yet to lead in this one, trailing by as many as nine as Fultz slips in. But Bart has him covered. Covington for three. You can count it. And he'll promptly go to the line looking for the four-point play. Talk to a lot of assistant coaches, not just on the Sixers staff, but in the league, and they think this kid's going to be just fine. Markel Fultz, rather high degree of difficulty, but again, before the game. The... Bellinelli, great spot for Fultz, who lays it home. <laughs> Around in the third, outscoring Denver. 34 to 15 the Nuggets a paltry 5 of 20 from the floor in the third Molly we thank you for that Fultz is on the floor as we begin the fourth Your son Ilya Sova mismatch here with Jamal Murray and he's able to take advantage Feeling his way through either he's just kind of both feet in the deep end Nice spot of Ilya Sova give the young man an assist Ready it's for three yes the rookie knows to pull it back out, massage that clock. Ooh. Got the big man, Plumley shakes free and gets two. As the man once said when Allen Iverson went against Michael Jordan, not quite the same thing, but hey, a lot of excitement nonetheless. Well, it was a much anticipated second debut for the rookie out of Washington. There you go, it's your gym now. Run this team. Covington for three. Go! Ryan Colangelo, the president of basketball operations, followed with a news conference as Fultz drills the jumper, and don't they love that? In more trips, we remember him in London. As a matter of fact, him and his old family came to that London game. Cal, let's turn to you. It's been 154 days, 68 games between appearances. Take us on the floor with you as you enter the game for the first time with just under three to play in the first quarter. Um, I was just focused on helping the team get the win, really. I wasn't worried about how I played or what I did. I just wanted to go out there and keep the same energy they had going on, keep the lead, try to get it back. I think I did a pretty good job. This morning, you raised your hand and said, Coach, I'm ready. What changed? Um, I just felt good. I, I, I felt like I had a little pop back. I had a little confidence, and um, I really miss playing with these guys, man. They, they're great teammates, and I really wanted to help them uh, get ready for the playoffs. Aggressive and comfortable tonight. You're now in a position to really help them. How? Um, just like I said, come in and, and, and do what I got to do. Uh, help the team on defense, help my offense, creating. Um, just the little things to help us get the win. Trust the process. It's so much more than a phrase, and it's paying off. What enabled you to get to this point? Um, I think I think my, I give it all to my teammates and my coaching staff in the front office. They all stuck with me, uh, believed in me, and just kept working with me every day. I think I give it all to them. How about your mom and sister behind you too? They, all right. they're, they're my biggest supporters. They come out and support me each and every day. I love them so much. Congratulations. Thank you.